to show you another staple that we didn't do the other day and I used to do it and I used to do quite a bit of different things with it like almost like a lasagna or with beans or whatever like tamales but it's polenta and polenta takes plenty of water so what I'm gonna put I'm gonna cook it in this pan here and it takes six cups this has some uh, chicken broth in it if I had more defrosted but the rest is in the freezer I would have put more if not all chicken broth and cooked it would have given it a nice flavor but I'm putting this six cups in here and then I found some non-GMO and um, organic cornmeal that I was sort of excited about. It's a little finer and probably what if it said grit on it, but I want to put in a cup. This is a half cup. So I'm going to put that in. Okay. And actually I've made it before uh, 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 the other day and uh, even though it was finer than I thought I wanted it, it was perfect for us. It was really good. Tom liked the creaminess that it made. Now, polenta, traditionally, is something that you cook on top of the stove and you stir it, and you stir it, and you stir it. But I'm not doing that. This is a time saver. And, uh, for a, a cup of polenta, you can use anywhere up to two teaspoons of salt, but I don't want it that salty, and I'm putting other stuff in it that is salty. So mine is a lot less, and you will have to, you know, some people like it saltier than other people. Okay, and what I'm going to be putting in it, but not right now, well, now I am this, my spices, and I'm putting in cumin, coriander, and paprika, and I'm putting a nice heaping uh, spice spoon full of it. Maybe it would be like um, a teaspoon and a half, and I might even add more, but I want to see what that does. The other day I didn't put that in. Okay. Now, in about a half an hour, I'm going to be adding some bacon bits that is uncured, so no nitrates in it, and then Kobe Jack cheese. And, and this is just a simple one, but there's many, many things you can do with this. It's sort of like a palette that you can just add all sorts of things to it. Okay, I'm going to put it in the oven. I'll show you when it's finished or as I put in these other things and then when it's finished. And my oven is at 350 and I'm going to let it cook a half an hour before I do anything with it. And it's tricky because this pan is so full Actually, it'd be nicer if you had one of those, I think they're, what, 11 by um, 8 or 7 half by 13 or something like that. One of those big cast, uh, Pyrex pants. <clears throat> okay, it's in there. I'm going to turn my timer on. Okay, in a half an hour, I'll see you, I'll bring it out, show it to you, and you'll see the next step, and it takes more than a half an hour to cook. Okay, see The half hour is up, we're back again, and it's still really soupy. And we're just about halfway done. It might take a little more. I'm going to put in the bacon bits this time, 
and what I did on the salt was a scant three-fourths teaspoon and in a way I wish I'd even put less I could always add salt later because the bacon is going to be salty and so is the cheese and a little bit I'll even add some butter to it those are all salty things so I could have put even less in it it's a sort of live and learn type thing because I'm not following somebody else's recipe. Okay, uh, I'm going to reset my timer. Now I want to stir it oftener. Um, I'm going to put it in for 15 minutes, stir it, and then maybe every little bit I'll watch and stir it because I'm going to be adding the cheese at some point. And I think I could have put in more of the cumin spice, but I can do that later also. So, it's going to go back in. And then I'll see you again. And, let's see. This is very heavy. Okay. There we are. I think you can see it. And I might cook it just a little bit more, but it's very creamy, and it has the bacon in it. I'm going to add the cheese. Okay, I'm going to put some butter in it. I should have got this out. And uh, I'm just doing some nice slices. This is organic butter too. And I'm going to put about three of those nice slices in there. going to give it a little taste to see if I want to add more of the uh, the polenta has been in the oven um, about an hour more or less and I would say it's is finished cooking you could cook it a little bit more it would get thicker but this is it will thicken up as it cools too and uh, my portion will be a fourth of a cup and with along this will make a side with like with a bean dish and then you'd have a complete protein so that's just a really simple polenta that doesn't have to be stirred and stirred and can be done on top of the stove at a 350 oven and very little um, it's a simple dish, not complicated. This was the cornmeal that I found. And so that is it, and I'd like to show you some other things that I do with it. When it does get cold, because obviously there's going to be a lot of leftovers, you can cut it in squares, you can heat it up. So that is what I have, and there you have it.